welcome back to another truck camper rebuild video. Today I'm going to be showing the rebuild process of my door. Uh, you can see in these photos here that when I first got my camper two years ago, the door was in really rough shape, including the bottom piece actually completely rotted out. So the metal and the frame was all in fine shape, but the wood was done and needed replacement. Luckily I actually have a little experience woodworking and so it's an easy project. I did not reinvent the wheel for this. I just followed the measurements for what I had before. If you need those, just screenshot a few frames before this. Then I just used my simple circular saw and some one by one wood to make the frame. The only part that was even remotely complicated was the small cutout part for the latch mechanism. Again, I just followed what was there before, made sure I took nice clean cuts and made sure those were nice 90 degree angles. Through the use of wood glue, corner braces, and some nice 90 degree cuts, I made a door frame that I thought came out pretty well. Then I just had a quick tape and paint job on all the windows and trim. I went with brown to match the theme of all the other colors on my camper. Here you can see I already have the insulation installed on the door. What I did for that was put down one layer of Reflectex, then a layer of insulated foam, and then another layer of Reflectex. And then it was nothing more than assembling all the pieces back together. I definitely didn't mess up the size of my window and have to use a razor blade to cut it open. I used some 3M90 spray to stick everything together. Then a quick test fit to make sure everything worked all right. I don't know why, but for some reason this door project was one of my favorite of all my camper projects. I think it just looks really clean. Then many months later, once the canvas was back on the camper and the camper was actually living outside, I had to get this door on full time. I'm using what's called butyl or putty tape. There's a link below if you need to help finding it. It just helps give a weather sealer all around that door. So that really wraps up the camper door video. I didn't have a lot of footage of actually installing the door, but it's pretty straightforward. I will just say that I do use silicone caulk on all the screws when I'm putting those in, and then also I run a bead of silicone all the way around the door. So far, it's been perfect. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it enjoyable and maybe even informational. If you did, consider hitting like or sharing it with your friends. Also, I'll be coming out with a ton more videos about the truck camper, so think about subscribing and follow along. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.